Some man part two, king of YouTube, peace. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. I used to live out here. This is Cortona Park in the Bronx. I lived out here back in 2000 with my ex-girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? And it, it was a nice neighborhood back then, but they were in the state of upgrading it. Now, it's like they made a natural landscape. They made a lake. This is 2013. 13 years later, they made a lake in the Bronx. This is the. This is not northern Bronx where it's all nice and houses and stuff. This is the Bronx. You know what I'm saying? It ain't the South Bronx, but it's over there by Cortona Park. Yo, they made lakes, streams. Now the frogs got somewhere to live. Yo, I seen birds over here that you don't even see in upstate New York. I mean, they really upgraded this neighborhood, and it shows you how Krishna's energy works that life is all around you and it's abundant. It says that of all seasons, in the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says of all seasons, I am spring. And that's very important to know. Springtime is when life, when the rejuvenation, when, when, when Ishtar, or what's her name, Easter, the fertility goddess comes back to the planet Earth. When Lakshmi rises from the underworld, from the ground, when the demons can no longer hold her down, she sprouts in the form of vegetable matter. Now look at this natural rock formation. This is called bedrock. Geologically speaking, bedrock is very strong and very ancient. Back in the last ice age, this bedrock was not exposed. But because there were glaciers that went three miles high in the sky, that bedrock became exposed. You also see that formation in Central Park. In New, in New York, Central Park, you'll see a lot of bedrock, which allows us in New York City to build these massive skyscrapers. Reason why we got skyscrapers is we can dig deep into the earth and plant a foundation because of this hard substance called bedrock. Some boroughs like Queens is, first of all, Queens and Brooklyn are on Long Island. Geologically, Long Island did not exist before the last ice age because there was no landmass there. That Long Island is actually dirt that was pushed down from further upstate New York and from further in Canada. And as the ice caps started to recede, that Long Island is the dirt that was left behind. So after the next ice age, Long Island will not, in about 11,500 years, Long Island, Queens, Brooklyn will not exist because that's gonna be wiped away by the next phase of ice caps. So it just shows you everything's history, everything. This is geological history right here. This stuff was around in the time of the dinosaurs, but it was under the ground. You know what I'm saying? So we have to look at nature we have to find God in ourselves. We got to find God in nature. And it's very good in an environment like this to be in the middle of the Bronx. You have to realize wherever there's a lot of nature, you have something called negative ions. What are negative ions? Basically, uh, negative ions are good for your health. I want you to Google it and research it. I don't want to make this a video about Oregon or negative ions, but it's very good for your health. So when you come over here, you can meditate in the park. You know, a nigga just got shot on your block or whatever. Come to the park, meditate, breathe, do a mantra, do do some yoga, do something, you know, pray. But this is a good environment for the spiritual energy. You know what I'm saying? It's just good for you. I can't, I can't. Look at that bird out there. You probably can't see it. Let me see if I can zoom. Yo, somebody, gonna, somebody on YouTube going to send me a new phone because I'm getting this phone massive wet. You can't even see. I tried to zoom. Forget all of that. Listen, some man Patu. I just want to say that things can be better on this planet if we all work together and we work with Mother Nature. Hare Bowl.